Well, hey girl, if you are looking for a bright green eyeshadow tutorial, then look no further. In today's video, I am teaching you how to get this fabulous green eyeshadow look using the BH Cosmetics 120 color palette. And we are basically using this color green right here for the entire look. It's super simple and I'd love to help you and teach you how to do it. So stick around, it's coming your way right now. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I am super glad that you are here today. My name is Lauren and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't, both internally and externally. Well, in today's video, we are actually doing a makeup tutorial on this eye look right here that I posted a few pictures on social media and asked if you guys wanted to see it. Loads of people were like, yes, please, it's so amazing. And I agree, it's pretty cool. It's not like an everyday wear thing, but it's kind of growing on me. And it's summer, I feel like you can get away with a little bit more of a wild look if you want to. So I am so pumped today to teach you how to do it. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. You just need your brushes. You need one bright green and one transition color that's close enough to your eye, uh, or your eye, close enough to your eye color as it is, or your skin tone is what I'm trying to say. And you will be good to go. So let's go ahead and jump into that tutorial. And if you are pumped, give this video a giant thumbs up. And if you like the look, hit the share button. It seriously helps me out so much when people share my videos. So thank you. And now let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so all my face makeup is on. I'm still currently experimenting with baking my face as I filmed this, but we are gonna go in with the ABH palette, the subculture palette, and I'm using the color Dawn, and this is going right in that transition space. So for me, I have hooded eyes and my crease, I have to fake it just a little bit higher so that it looks a little bit more like my eyes are lifted and it kind of helps the whole where does my shadow go placement with hooded eyes. So this is what I'm doing with a nice fluffy brush, just windshield wipering that color back and forth. Again, you don't need this exact color, you just need something that looks really, really similar to your skin tone and that's the color that I chose for this. So for the rest of this look, I'm using the BH Cosmetics palette, and this is like 120 eyeshadow colors. I'll link it for you below if they still actually have it. I've had it for a while, but this is the only other color that you will need. Just something that is vibrant and bright and green. So this is one of my favorite tricks of all time, and that is taking some kind of setting spray. I've used Mac Max Fix Plus before, and spraying it on my brush, and here's what you're gonna see. Boom, look at that color payoff. So this color is really bright, right? But I wanted it to just really just pop off my eyeballs. And the way to do that is to get your brush wet with something that has a little bit of a sticky texture to it. And then once you start applying it to the lid, it seriously looks like that. So the idea here is really just to pack the color onto the lid. And for me, you can see what I just did with hooded eyes. I always open my eyes and look upward because that color is gonna transfer where my natural crease is. So my eyeshadow is gonna go a little bit above that. And I know on the photos on Instagram, I actually have my eyeshadow a lot higher than what I did in this tutorial. And I actually think I like the photos on Instagram more than how this look turns out, but at least you'll get the idea. So what I did next was took another crease brush and I simply just buffed out what I had that was looking harsh and then I went right back in and added more color for any areas that were sparse. And then obviously we're just gonna lather, rinse, repeat on the other eye and get it as bright and green as possible.
All right, now we're gonna dust off all that excess powder off my face so we can start working on the lower lash line. And speaking of baking, I have a video coming out about my thoughts on baking, how it works for me. I was actually doing a lot of experimenting over the last few weeks with baking different techniques. And I have a video coming out all about that. So stay tuned. And of course, when I do um, put it live on my channel, I'll come back to this video and link it for you so you can see it. So what I did was grabbed a flat definer brush. This is the one that's super duper straight. Dipped it into the color, moved my mirror closer so I can see, and I started packing that color right against the lash line on the bottom and just started to kind of slightly drag it over. Now I like to really buff out my eyeshadow underneath my eye. It's almost like a second layer of shadow and I like to go down pretty far. So that's what you'll see me do, but this is the first step in that process. And now for the second step, and that's taking a really, really tiny crease brush and just blending that shadow out so it's vibrant and pretty underneath my eyeball. And I guess for whatever reason, I decided that the green wasn't enough, so I just decided to pack a little bit more on. You can do that. Again, this is your liking. You can take it as high as you want to. Just obviously leave a little room for some highlights, but have fun with it. That's the idea. Okay, girl, my favorite part, you know it, doing that winged liner, and I'm gonna link my video for you, the most recent one on winged eyeliner. That is a great shot, Lauren. You can't see anything that you're freaking doing. This is why you'll need the video that I just did release to show you how I'm doing winged liner now for my cray cray, very hooded eyes. So I hope it helps you out because obviously this part of the tutorial is uh, not very helpful since I'm not very close for you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I apologize about that. Sometimes you just don't know what's in the camera view, y'all. And now what we are going to do is go ahead and grab our eyelash curler and curl those lashes to give them a little bit more oomph since I don't ever wear falsies. We'll do that and yes, girl, they are curled. <laughs> and then I guess I wanted to make sure they really were. And then we're going to go ahead and grab some highlighter and start highlighting our inner corner and then our brow bone. <laughs>
you know the drill, add a ton of mascara, some lips, and then you are good to go. And of course, I will link all the products that I used down below for you so you can see them. And coming up in just a couple seconds, I'm going to give you a side profile and head back to me with all of my face done. So hey, this is the finished look after I did something with my hair and that was pretty much it because I'm just gonna go to the gym and work out like this, super fabulous. So I hope you loved this look. I would love to see photos of you if you try it. So tag me on social media. If you haven't had a chance to follow my channel yet, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, girl. What you waiting for? And connect with me on social media. I would love to get to know you a little bit more there. And I think that is gonna be a wrap. So let me show you some side profiles. Here we go, mm-hmm. And then, mm-hmm, ignore the zit. Just can't cover it up today. And that is it. I will see you in my next video. Hashtag Reform Tomboy Family. I'll see you soon.